Welcome to Airworthy Tours, your guide in the sky. My name is Captain Philip, and today I'm going to serve as your pilot and tour guide as we take a look at the Louisiana film industry. Louisiana has been a well sought out destination for both the film and television industries. Film productions range from box office hits, cult classics, and Academy Award winners. And in fact, between the years of 2013 and 2014, the state of Louisiana actually passed Los Angeles as the film production capital of the world. Now, before we get started, if you would like to be a part of our future aerial tours, please consider subscribing to the channel. We are clear for takeoff, so grab your popcorn, sit back, relax, and enjoy your aerial tour. We begin our tour in Baton Rouge, the capital of Louisiana. On July 1st, 2002, the Louisiana Motion Picture Tax Incentive Act was enacted. The tax credit program provides movie productions up to a 40% tax credit on total qualified in-state production expenditures, including resident and non-resident labor. To qualify for this program, filmmakers must spend at least $300,000 in Louisiana. And while we're in Baton Rouge, films shot in Baton Rouge include the Twilight series Breaking Dawn, both one and two, The Magnificent Seven, Captain Marvel, and Battle Los Angeles. Heading southeast, our first stop is the Evergreen Plantation. If those spiral stairs look familiar, it is because the property was used in Django Unchained, starring Jamie Foxx, and was the backdrop for the Big Daddy scene. The explosion of the Candyland Plantation also occurred on the property's premises. Other films shot at Evergreen include The Free State of Jones, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Slayer, and the modern version of Alex Haley's Roots. Our next stop is the old Six Flags Amusement Park. Abandoned and closed since 2006, the former Six Flags has been used to film a number of big budget films, including Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters, Killer Joe, and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. However, the most famous movie filmed on the premises was Jurassic World. With a $1.67 billion worldwide gross, it is the largest box office movie in Louisiana film history. Heading to Elmwood, Louisiana, just outside of New Orleans, are where many productions operate. Being that it is a port city, the New Orleans metro area had many abandoned or lightly used warehouses that have since been turned into makeshift studios or as a base of operations for studios in the pre and production phases. There are currently five large production houses and sound studios in the New Orleans metro area. Below is the NIMS Center, which is the headquarters of NCIS New Orleans, a very popular show which has been renewed by CBS for a seventh season. Fun fact about me, I've been a background actor on a couple of episodes. Heading to New Orleans. Ahead is a quick look at the French Quarter. We will be having a full tour of this area soon, so stay tuned. Below is the Villa Lobos Rescue Center, known for the hit show of pit bulls and paroles. Owner Tierra Marie Torres moved the rescue center from California to the Upper Ninth Ward in 2012 and has been here ever since. At 15 seasons, pit bulls and paroles is the third highest rated show in Animal Planet history. A quick view of the historic St. James AME Church, which was used in 21 Jump Street as the secretive police headquarters and includes a very funny scene from Ice Cube. While it was made to look run down and abandoned, it is still a very much functional church. Our next stop is the Garden District area of New Orleans. Ahead is the Nolan House, where much of the filming of The Curious Case of Benjamin Button took place. The 7,800 square foot mansion has six bedrooms, a music room, a library, and a reception hall. Filming took place in virtually every room in the house. Below is a St. Charles streetcar, which inspired 
New Orleans' most classic film, A Streetcar Named Desire, which was adapted from Tennessee Williams' play of the same name. Heading to Loyola University, New Orleans, a private Jesuit university, and the film location of Happy Death Day, which, on a $4.8 million budget, went on to gross $125 million at the box office. Our next stop is downtown New Orleans. Ahead is the Superdome, which has been the site of a few movies, including all of the concert scenes in Girls Trip and a very tense gambling scene in the movie Focus, starring Will Smith. To the right is the Smoothie King Center, where Will Ferrell once threw a basketball at a cheerleader's head in Daddy's home. The area below was the site of the human encampment in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Although meant to resemble a post-apocalyptic San Francisco, most of the action scenes occurred in this area. And the final climactic scene occurred in the tower ahead. Ahead is the historic Roosevelt Hotel. Movies shot here include Now You See Me, Twilight Breaking Dawn, Trumbo, and The Big Short. A couple of Academy Award winning movies were shot at the Roosevelt, including Green Book, which won Best Picture at the 2019 Academy Awards and used as a backdrop for the Memphis, Tennessee scenes. While it takes place across the country, nearly every scene was shot in New Orleans and Southeast Louisiana. The Roosevelt is also the location where the Hit the Road Jack scene was filmed in Ray starring Jamie Foxx, who would go on to win the Oscar for Best Actor at the 2004 Academy Awards. Across the street, both movies were shot in the Sanger Theater for many of their concert scenes. Heading across the river to Algiers Point, a historic neighborhood on the west bank of the Mississippi River, and has been the site of many movies, including Green Lantern, Ray, The Expendables, and Contraband. Most of those scenes being filmed at the Old Point Bar below. However, the film to most use the area would be Deja Vu, starring Denzel Washington, in which the Algiers ferry was blown up. The ferry still exists today and can be taken for $2 cash one way. And our last stop is Bourbon Street, the site of a couple of famous movies, including Focus, X-Men Origins, Wolverine, Now You See Me, and The Pelican Brief. However, the most infamous movie scene shot on Bourbon Street was in Girls Trip with the zipline scene. Hate to burst any bubbles, but there are no ziplines on Bourbon Street. In my opinion, Girls Trip is one of the most influential movies made in New Orleans in the past 10 years. I don't have any data or analytics, but I definitely saw an uptick in Girls Trips after the movie came out. There have been close to 500 major films produced in Louisiana, so it would be hard to feature all of them in this video. However, here is a list of the 50 most known movies made in the state. What is your favorite movie made in Louisiana? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's tour, you can tip your tour guide by hitting the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to be a part of future aerial tours. Thank you for flying with Airworthy Tours, and we look forward to seeing you on our next flight.